and welcome to Objectively Speaking. Today we are actually on site of the San Cody Lakes Retreat and Resort. It'll be opened later this year. We're coming to you to talk to you a little bit about an object that we have in our collection called the Till Ball. And the Illinois River has been extremely important to the history of Peoria. It served as a mode of transportation, a source of food, um, and gave water to the indigenous populations and then the European and American populations that followed. Today, I am here with our science educator, Nick Ray, who's gonna tell us a little bit more about the San Cody Aquifer, the Kankakee Torrent, and the Till Ball. So this is the Till Ball. Its origin goes back to the origin of the Illinois River at the end of the last ice age. So a little over 20,000 years ago, if you'd been around here and looked around, there would have been ice everywhere from a glacier all the way up in Canada. And uh, here's a cool map of Illinois. All these green regions in the Northeast uh, show the extent of the glacier, how far it got down uh, about 20,000 years ago, all the way to Peoria. We're at, actually at the edge of where the glacier was. That's why Peoria is sitting on top of lots of hilly area. Uh, debris that was deposited at the edge of the glacier. And after the glacier retreated and sh shrank, it eventually dammed up a lake of glacial water, which burst through the dam about 19,000 years ago, came flooding through uh, Northern Illinois, eventually hit uh, the old Mississippi River Valley. That actually, instead of the Illinois River, um, we would have had the Mississippi River uh, flowing out there before this ice age. Um, but it got redirected by the glaciers, and then after the flood, uh, that water from the Kankakee Torrent, that's what we call that event when it, when it flooded, when the dam burst, and it uh, came in and hit that old uh, river valley from the Mississippi, and then flowed down through Peoria and, and, and down to the, the path we know today for the Illinois River. So that's kind of the birth of the Illinois River. And during that uh, process, the Kankakee Torrent, there was so much water flowing so fast, it was able to erode a lot of uh, material and scoop up some of that material and make rolling balls of mud that were being pushed along at the bottom of the river and scooping up sediment, um, glacial till, which is basically sediment that's kind of unsorted. So you got silts and clays and sand and gravel um, all over the place that gets scooped up into this rolling ball, which has been delivered from, from, from all the way up uh, near Kankakee um, thousands of years ago. And these are all over the place now underground, buried underground. And as they're excavating around here, they've been uncovering hundreds of these fall, just falling out from the ground as, as they dig deeper. So the water here is delivered actually from underground. We have, there is groundwater stored in an aquifer, which was uh, basically built up from the last ice age from the glaciers, depositing all this kind of unconsolidated material, um, which now underground serves as a great source of water. Water can permeate through this material and it actually stretches out all the way from Lake Michigan near Chicago, fills in the old Mississippi River Valley that goes off to near Rock Island um, in the Quad Cities and down the Illinois River. And then we have another old aquifer, the, the Muhammad, which is from another old river that was um, filled in with uh, glacial till from an earlier epoch in the Ice Age, from an earlier glacier. Thank you so much for watching Objectively Speaking. Thank you to our members and our Visionary Society for making the museum and the virtual museum possible.